It's a Sunday in Fort Worth and I'm shopping the Goodwill stores looking for bargains. As usual, I'm going to be shooting on my phone to keep a low profile. I'll tell you about the goodies I found on Thrifty AV. First up, Goodwill at 7201 Roof Snow Drive in Watauga. CD and DVD prices at the Fort Worth area Goodwill stores are a bit higher than what I'm used to, but I took a look anyway. I did not recognize this Disturbed cover, but it turned out to be a CD single. I saw a Dualwell Sony cassette deck that interested me. When I plugged it in, it powered up, but the take-up reels did not spin in either well. The right well was completely missing its capstan. Too many issues to fix here. This guy was camped at the vinyl cherry picking it, so I moved on and left the store empty handed. Next up, Goodwill at 3147 Denton Highway, Haltom City. I found an original Sony PlayStation, no controllers, no accessories, $11. I passed. A couple of DVD players, no remotes. This VHS player was mono, I'm looking for a hi-fi unit. I was intrigued by this VGA switch allowing multiple computers to output to the same monitor. No power supply, $3. Here's an S-Video switch with RF, no power supply, $3. I looked through the CDs, none were worth spending $2 on. I considered this Hulk DVD, it had two made-for-TV movies produced after the series was cancelled. Here's a cool find in the vinyl, this is a stereo review test album with sound samples that can be used to calibrate a turntable. And I found another test album, this one produced by Radio Shack under the Realistic brand. I grabbed both test albums. Next up, Goodwill at 415 North Saginaw Boulevard, Saginaw, Texas. They had a bunch of DVD players, but zero remotes. I wonder if the $3 price tag prevents folks from buying all these DVDs. They had a lot, but I didn't want to buy any. I looked through the CDs, but couldn't find any that I wanted. Browsing the vinyl, I found a sound effects record published by Audio Fidelity. This should complement the test records I found at the other store. I'm a sucker for percussion albums, so I grabbed this one too. Here's the vinyl I grabbed from Goodwill Saginaw. Next up, the Lake Worth location at 6601 Azel Avenue. I have this George Thorogood, so I left it. Maybe you can grab it. This Mamas and the Papas was empty. Oh no. Nothing in the records. No DVDs I wanted. They had several remote free DVD players. Hiding in this pile, I found this Radio Shack tape recorder in a box, complete with foam inserts for $4.99. Looks pretty good. I picked it up. Next up, the White Settlement location at 625 South Cherry Lane. Here's a Violent Femmes album that I don't already own. It's a promo copy, but I'm okay with that. This Sony stereo looks like it's in decent condition. Here's an Altec Lansing satellite speaker system. This is a battery charger for a Canon, new and sealed. I've been looking for a backup tripod, but at $16, this is a little high for a thrift store. I have no interest in a photo printer, but look, it includes a remote. This MP3 player looks like a tiny jam box. I've been considering wall mounting some speaker jacks, but five and a half is a bit high. I've been looking for a portable CD player, and this insignia should work, and it has Neil Diamond ready to play. Here's what I grabbed from Goodwill White Settlement. Next up, the Superstore at 6908 Camp Bowie Boulevard. Here's a Pioneer DVD recorder with hard drive and TiVo. When I plugged it in, the fan in the back would spin, but that's about it. Too bad. This Yamaha CD player has a second changer input. Interesting, but it doesn't have a remote, otherwise I would have grabbed it. This Emerson karaoke machine has an SD card slot. The USB on the back is just for charging, not for data. Here's an Emerson dual cassette jam box with detachable speakers, but I did not want to spend $16 on it. I've always wanted a megaphone, but this one had something rattling around in it, so I didn't want to gamble 16 bucks. Here's a Toshiba Pentium laptop, but no power supply. This Peter Frampton CD isn't in my collection, so I grabbed it. 
This is one of the tire store Christmas albums I talked about last December, and here is a hardware store Christmas album. I went ahead and picked this one up. So here's what I got from Goodwill Camp Bowie. Next up, the Goodwill Outlet at 4005 Campus Drive. I was warned by a fellow customer that folks have gotten kicked out of this store for taking photos. So here's some stuff from Google Images. As you can see, items are sold in bins that you have to dig through, and most items are sold for $1.50 a pound. I did sneak a few clips of video while I was there. The first interesting item I found was this Sony receiver. They wouldn't let me plug it in, but when I took it home, it did power up. It's not AV, but this is a pretty neat dartboard. Finally, I untangled a rather long ethernet cable. So here's what I found at the Goodwill outlet. Next up, Goodwill at 5600 I-20, Kennedale, Texas. This cassette deck had some messed up buttons. A few DVD players without remotes. I didn't find much in the CDs. Here's an old IDE DVD drive for five bucks. The most interesting thing they had was this big box of 45 singles. None with protective sleeves. I did a little digging, but most were in pretty rough shape, so I didn't take any home. They had a few rock records like this Chicken Shack, but again, pretty rough shape. Tis the season for thrift store Christmas trees. I left this store empty handed. Next up, Goodwill at 2100 Alta Mesa Boulevard. They had these plasticky Sony speakers. This scanning receiver looks interesting, but most first responders now use digital radios, and this one is old and analog. They had two dual well cassette decks. Both powered up, but neither would spin a cassette. Probably belt issues. They had a pair of ultra linear speakers, not a brand I've heard of. I thought about this KLH center channel, but it uses wizard cones instead of having a proper tweeter. Do you need a $4 pencil sharpener? This Sony DVD player will also play SACDs, but there's no remote. This KLH unit probably came with the speaker I looked at earlier. I didn't see anything in the CDs, so no AV equipment purchases here. Next up, the Hewlin location at 6297 Granberry Road. This VCR is mono, not hi-fi. A DVD changer, no remote. Five more DVD players, no remotes. This Iowa stereo did have a remote taped to the top. Here's a DVD player with a remote, and they want $14 for it. An iPod dock. No DVDs of interest. Looking through the CDs, I found this one by Miles Davis that interested me, so I picked it up. That's all I grabbed from the Hewlin Goodwill. Next stop, Goodwill at 8502 Benbrook Boulevard in Benbrook. Here's a live Green Day CD I considered, but didn't pick up. Tracy Lords is a recording artist? This Terrapin brand DVD player has a remote, I've just never heard of this brand. I found four matching Onkyo speakers that someone had rigged mounts to, but I didn't grab anything. On my way home from Fort Worth, I made one more Goodwill stop in Weatherford just before they closed. They had an ILO DVD recorder, no remote, and remotes are hard to find for this unit. Here's a VHS camcorder. I couldn't find a brand name or a price anywhere on this camera. I think this AR unit is a subwoofer, but couldn't find any indication on the outside of it. This Micronta 12 volt power supply looks interesting, but no price on it. Here's a CD clock radio for nine bucks. A pair of Montgomery Ward speakers. Panasonic Thrusters speakers. I thumbed through the records. This one says it has Dynagroove technology, but those Dynagrooves look scratched. This album that says Exodus is a theme compilation not the metal band. Nothing in the CDs, nothing in the DVDs, and they were kicking us out, so it was time to go. This was a fun and successful Goodwill thrift venture. I'm particularly proud of the test LPs that I found, and I definitely will be coming back for more in the Fort Worth area. I plan to visit other thrift stores other than Goodwill, maybe even head a little bit further east and see what I can find in Dallas. If you enjoyed this video or any others in the Thrifty AV series, please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty everyone!